I joined the army right after high school and I'm gonna be talking about my experience, what I learned, and if you guys should do it too. Also talking about if I regret the decision at all. But without further ado, let's get to it. What is up guys, Ben Allen back again with another video and like I just said, I'm going to be talking about how I joined the army right after high school. I get asked this question a lot, uh, if people should join right out of high school or should they go, they go to college first or they should wait, uh, is it too young to go in at 17 or 18 or is it bad to go in old at 24, 25? Uh, so I figured I'd give my own experience and share my story with you guys talking about uh, what the army did for me and if I regret joining at the age of 18 right after after high school and if I you know thought that I should have waited a little longer or if I feel like I did the right thing uh, but before we get into all of that guys if you're barely tuning in to the Ben Allen channel I need y'all to do me a huge huge favor uh, this video is being posted on Monday right Christmas is like what it's a couple days away like four or five days away uh, so I need y'all to subscribe I'm trying to hit 25,000 subs uh, by Christmas Day if not Christmas Day by the end of December so I really need y'all to help make that happen it takes two seconds to hit that subscribe button and I just checked my analytics 90% of people that watch my videos are not subscribed so you guys could definitely help it out help us reach that goal uh, so please 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 hit the sub button and like this video if you're getting ready to join the military or if you're already in you know do you regret joining early or do you think you should have waited or if you join later in life how do you feel and also leave your thoughts down in the comment section below I'd really appreciate it I'd love to get to know you guys and I'd love to hear your all's stories as well if you have any questions whatsoever be sure to hit me up on my Instagram at Ben underscore Allen 175 it is the best and I mean the best possible place to get a hold of me if you have any questions whatsoever you guys want to pick my brain uh, for those of you that don't know me I did four years active duty as a 68 whiskey which is a combat medic I got out in September 2019 as a sergeant I did a couple months on the civilian side then decided to join the Army Reserve so I've been in the reserves now for about a year I have that active duty knowledge and that reserve knowledge so I can answer a good amount of the questions y'all may have you can either ask in the comment section down below or again on my Instagram like I said I answer every single DM I get through there but with all that said and done, let's move on to the main topic that most of y'all are here for, right? So I joined the army right out of, after high school. Do I regret it? Uh, do I think I made the right decision? You know, what did it do for me and how is it better than joining later on in life? Well, for me personally, I don't really regret it. I don't regret my decision. There's some things I regret about being in the army, but I don't regret my decision of joining at, you know, at the young age of like 18. You know, some people join on later in life, but for me, it was probably the best decision I could have done because it opened up so many doors for me, guys. It, it allowed me to grow as a person a lot faster than other people my age that, you know, either may, may have gone off to college or, you know, just really didn't do a whole lot with their lives after high school and you know hey if that's what you guys chose to do cool that's all up to you that's great right everybody lives their own life but for me personally I think it definitely helped to mature me as well as open a lot of doors and possibilities for me and I'll get into that here in a second right uh, but for me, like, I never really intended on joining the military, right? I took the ASVAB as a joke my junior year of high school simply to get out of my class uh, second period. I just didn't want to go. They had the test. They're like, hey, you guys can go take the test and get out of class. I was like, all right, cool. Where do I sign up? So I signed up, took the ASVAB, uh, didn't study for it, whatever. I got, a, I got a 70. And then the Air Force hit me up. The Marines hit me up. Uh, my junior year, the Army hit me up. And they're like, oh, hey, like, they started calling me because if you get good scores in the ASVAB, typically, you know, they want to reach out, call you, hey, we... Saw so you took the ASVAB, we got your scores, are you interested? And I was like, nope, 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 not for me, I'm not doing it, no thank you. Uh, uh, fast forward to my senior year of high school, right? I'm still not sold on the military. I, it wasn't in my mind. But we go to the, like the last month of my high school year, right? Uh, you know, college deadlines are coming up. You got to apply for housing, all that stuff. And I procrastinated. I did not uh, apply for housing. Uh, and I, you know, missed the deadline to go to college because I didn't do any housing. And as opposed to like, you know, going without a 100% certain plan, I didn't even know what I wanted to do yet, right? I wasn't dead set on oh I want to get a degree in this or that I just really did not I didn't want to waste my money or my parents money uh, going through college without having a 100% certain plan for my future 
And so my, two of my other buddies had already enlisted, right? Like best friends, like you know like how everybody has a friend group. These dudes were like my friends for years and they did it. And I was like, well, you know, if they did it, I did it. So I called the recruiter, I was like, hey, yeah, I'll join. Literally two weeks left of my high school uh, senior year. I was like, okay, cool, on a whim. I was like, let's do it. I want 68 whiskey. If you don't give me that, I'm not joining. Uh, and they got me 68 whiskey. So I went to MEPS like two days before my high school graduation because if you enlist as a high school senior or just as a high schooler in general, there's a little more benefits opened up to you, like little, like more, more things. It's better. I don't know the exact reasons as to why, but I just know it is. So you can ask the recruiter that. Uh, but that's what I did, right? And so I went to MEPS, swore in, did the whole process, picked my job, all that fun stuff, right? Reserved it. And uh, I came back, graduated high school. I had the whole summer to like train, prepare, get ready for the military. And that's what I did. I shipped out in September uh, of 2015 to Fort Sill, Oklahoma. We did the reception, all that stuff. And you know, this is where it comes in like flash forward you know my entire you know four and a half years well it's five years if you count the reserves but i'm talking about just my time in active duty right so my whole four-year contract flash forward uh it is giving me so much like if i could go back and like change something i wouldn't just because it gave me a lot from that kid that was unsure of what he wanted to do uh in high school didn't have a plan for college didn't really know what he wanted to be or do with his life uh, to where I am now, you know, fully dedicated to my social medias, you know, having the military as a background, you know, the medical knowledge that I've gained from being a 68 whiskey, it has helped out tremendously, you guys. Not to mention the doors it's open. Like I've said, I, I started my social media in my second year of like my military contract, right? I started posting military related videos and I've had that. I've built this up ever since. It's been like two years is like how long I've been building up this YouTube channel uh, seriously and posting military content consistently for all of you guys and that itself has opened up so many doors in terms of learning valuable skills and editing you know how to portray myself to a camera how to stand out you know uh, TV shows I, I got one coming I can't talk about it yet but I'll be on TV soon so that's great uh, and also being able to build my TikTok, taking everything I've learned from building social media while doing military related videos on YouTube taking that to TikTok and gaining over 72,000 followers on there uh, having vet TV reach out to me I get to create content content for them uh, and that's all because I joined when I joined right and that's not to mention how it matured me as well those are just some things that came from my time in service but now it's time for the the more mental and physical things that came from it joining after high school most high schoolers are immature right there's some that are immature me I was like a happy medium I, I could act immature mature I'm still the same right but in terms of how I view the world relationships and everything it really molded my mind because you're around people of all different ages from all walks of life you get to gather their wisdom and it gets, it gets to help mold you because your brain you know it's still developing it's still growing you're still taking a new concept new ideas and to be introduced to that at like 18 right after high school when all you know is high school you know the, the drama the relationships all that it's high school right and you get exposed to that it really matures you in the sense that you're not really with the dumb shit anymore if that makes sense uh, simply because you know, you have to put up with a lot of stuff in the military. It's a lot of not fun stuff, you know what I mean? And so it really uh, gives you thick skin. It really it really teaches you how to take an L and move on with your day and really not hold a grudge about it. Uh, I've met some great people, like to this day, like my roommate for uh, like all my entire time in the military for like three and a half years is now my housemate. You know, he bought a house here in San Antonio. So living with him now, uh, I'm out, he's still in, but he's just stationed here at San Antonio. Uh, and you know he's been like a big brother to me. It's great, and he's he's taught me a lot. And same with all the other people and the leaders I've I've met. And from being able to develop from just you know a private that was trying to sham out of stuff, you know, just try not just to do the bare minimum, and to becoming an NCO and learning what leadership is and forming your own leadership style. Only being like what I was like 23 at the time, maybe 22 uh, when I made my, my my E5. And so being able to have that responsibility and be accountable, uh, it. it it also transfers over into the civilian side guys
guys in terms of you know job opportunities because it does open up doors right like I'm out of, I'm out of the military now right uh, I have the GI Bill to fall back on if I ever want to go to school uh, and then in terms of resume building you know you got like like uh, veteran select I believe like if you're a veteran you know some jobs look at you a little more because oh well this guy was in the military cool he's got the discipline he's got training he's got he knows how to be responsible uh, like I literally just applied for a manager position at a job uh, having zero work experience after uh, you know during high school I really didn't have a job I joined the military the military was my first real job applied for a manager position hey I, I got it because my resume was good all the leadership courses I went through in the military from being in at 18 to when I got out at like 23 uh, they really really helped out so now you know I'm uh, better off had I not joined the military right so to me that's great I think joining at the age of 18 or 17 right after high school to me personally was the best decision I could have done uh, and for my advice to you guys if you're thinking like if you have a plan cool but if you really don't have a plan after high school you're not sure but you, you you're kind of like leaning toward college just because your parents want you to but you really have no idea what you want to do my and you've been considering the military my advice to you is try it out i mean the worst that could happen is you don't like it you get some shitty leadership and it's just not what you expected right but on the plus side maybe you do like it maybe you want to make a career out of it maybe you do four years six years and you want to get out it, it, it helps you build that resume it gives you leadership uh you know a, a training uh gives you the responsibility and it just overall matures you and makes you a better person than what you were in high school for the most part anyway at least that's what it did with me that's what it did with other people that i know uh i do not regret my decision whatsoever of joining after high school i think it's probably one of the best things i could have done for my life uh, specifically just because you know I made social media out of it. I worked with what I was given uh, there's a saying in the military right the army's gonna get theirs so you gotta get yours uh, and that's definitely what I did I made social media talking about you know basic training uh, going to your first duty station things of that nature right and it's blowing up it's continuing to grow and I'm so proud that it's continuing to just evolve and get bigger and I'm able to transfer over what I've learned to TikTok and all my other social medias and because my, my goal in life guys is to be on TV be in movies be a social media influencer and just you know create content to give to y'all and just inspire and motivate other people to you know join the military if that's what they want to do and also give them information as well should they make that decision to join and I'm well on my way to achieving all of those goals I just want to continue to get bigger and better and put out the content for you guys because I, I had a bunch of questions coming into the military as a high schooler just going fresh into the military I had a bunch of questions I was nervous I was scared uh, and that's why I made my channel in the first place to help people that were in my position get the most info they can could out of the military you know off of YouTube because when I was coming in there hardly was anything on YouTube and I want to be that person for y'all that are watching this so I, I really do appreciate you guys taking the time out of your day to watch this video just listen about my life story this isn't really a topic filled video this is just me talking about my experience joining after high school and hopefully it helps some of you guys maybe it takes a little bit of the nerves away from you uh, that, that's all I can really hope at the end of the day is somebody takes something away from my videos if you do that's great uh, but to summarize I do not regret my decision it's given me a lot in terms of my social media not everybody's gonna do social media in the military right uh, but it's also giving me great leadership uh, characteristics leader uh, responsibility how to manage other people how to how to work as a team how to grow as an individual and how to mature myself you know going from a high schooler to you know learning things about myself and others and how to put your own feelings aside and how to build other people up and how to take care of them uh, it's given me a lot of skills that I can transfer over into the civilian side and in my regular life as well I am more successful now because of the decision I made as an 18 year old to join the military and that's the honest truth I'll be honest with you guys the military is not 100% like what everybody makes it out to be it's not this great magical place the rainbows and butterflies it's gonna suck it's gonna suck sometimes but it, it's what it's what you make of it right I, I took those shitty situations turned them around made them work for me and you guys can do the same uh, it doesn't always suck sometimes it's a great place to be uh, you'll, you'll make family you'll make friends and you'll learn lifelong lessons that'll stick with you you know for the rest of your days and that's exactly what happened with me I really hope you guys appreciate this video if you guys want more personal stories about the military feel free to ask me in the comments again please subscribe we're trying to hit 25k by Christmas or the end of December whichever happens first uh, I greatly appreciate it it takes two seconds to hit that subscribe button guys thank you all so much like this video if you're getting ready to go off to the military 
uh, whatever branch. And if you're nervous, let me know. Uh, hit me up on my Instagram at Ben underscore Allen175. It's the best possible place to reach me. I try to answer every single question I get on there. So if you have any questions uh, whatsoever, Again, hit me up on there. Uh, but I'll put some videos here on the screen, guys, talking about like basic training, the shark attack, the new yellow phase, all that fun stuff. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I greatly appreciate you all, and I'll see you on the next one. Later.